Hey guys, welcome again to my channel. Today we're going over the free code camp, uh, JavaScript intermediate algorithms. And the one that we're going to be covering today is called Steamroller. So let's check this one out. Uh, let me read the directions first. It says flatten a nested array. You must account for varying levels of nesting. Uh, let's look at a couple of their examples. Actually, before I do that, what I want you guys to do is pause the video. If you haven't solved this already, then try pausing the video, solve it on your own, and then come back to the video. Uh, I always believe in uh, you should try first before you watch that look at the solution. All right, so I'm assuming that you guys have tried it already. Now let's look at a couple of these examples. So for example, if we steamroll array this example here, it just gives us back the elements. So pretty much we want to get rid of all the inner arrays inside or the inner brackets inside and just be left with one array with only elements inside that is not arrays like that. So even if you have an object like this uh, inside, as long as it's not an array, it stays put and all the inner array brackets goes away. So that is what we have to do today. Now, I'm gonna show you uh, the first method that I'm gonna show you. It's some may consider cheating. Uh, and if this was an interview question, they might not appreciate this answer, but I'll show you guys either way. And it's an array method that came out, I believe in 2019, it just came out last year. And the method that I'm looking at is, let me Google it real quick, uh, array flat MDN. I'm using MDN because I like their documentation. So let's see what they have to say. It says here, the flat method creates a new array with all subarray elements concatenated into it recursively up to the specified depth. All right, so what does that mean? Let's look at these examples. If we call array one.flat into this array, our inner array goes away. And notice we didn't give any parameters to the flat. We just have empty parameters. So it flattens it. Now, what if we call flat to this array here, where we have an array inside the outer array, which in turn has another array inside. So if we call flat without any parameters to this, only the inner array goes away, but its inner array does not go away. So why did it do this? If you look at the parameters here, which is optional, the depth level specifying how deep a nested array structure should be flat defaults to one. So what, ha what happened here is we defaulted because we didn't give any parameters. We defaulted into a uh, flattening into one level only to one depth only. So what if you want to flatten this all the way? So there's two ways to do that. One, you could either say flat to depth level two and that will flatten everything. Or, and this is what we're interested in, uh, we could call it flat to infinity. Infinity is a JavaScript keyword that uh, is just built into JavaScript and pretty much it will flatten any array you give it all the way. And this is what we want. So let's try to implement this here. I'm just gonna do return, let's get rid of this comment here. Return array.flat of infinity, capital I infinity. Let's see if that works. Run the, uh, I'm gonna make sure to console log the result of my function call. Let's run it here. And it appears that it does. We get one, two, three, four. So, uh, we could submit this, and if you want to tidy this up a little bit more, we could use ES6 arrow notation. We could call this const steamroller array, steamroll array. Since we only have one parameter, we could get rid of the parentheses. And since we only have one expression inside our function, we could return, we could remove the return and just leave it like that. Let's copy this, bring it over to our free code camp and make sure that they like it and it passes. All right, so this is probably not the answer that they were looking for. So let's go ahead and reset the code, go back to our original starting point. Let me copy this and bring this over here again. And let's try to solve this the quote unquote proper way. So, but I am gonna use the same principle to solve this problem. What I'm gonna do is just like this flat method here, I'm gonna create a function, an external function outside of our steamroll array function 
that will flatten an array. But the function will not flatten it to the depth that I specified, like this flat method. It will only flatten it one level. So it will be equivalent to this flat without any parameters. And I am going to call that function. Let's make it up here. I'm going to use ES6 arrow notation for this. Uh, and I will call this flatten. And it will receive an array like so. And we have to figure out how to flatten it one depth. And the reason why I'm just doing it one depth because it's easier. That's the only reason. All right. Uh, and if you're curious why I'm using error notation, it's just because I prefer error notation over function notation. That's the only reason. All right. So let's think about how we can do this. I am going to say we're going to have a result array that is initially empty, and we're going to fill it up one by one and make sure that we have flattened it one depth. And the way that I'm going to do that is I am going to iterate over our array, over all the elements of the array. And I am going to use the for of loop in this instance. So const element L of array. Now, this element could be anything, but the only thing we care about is whether this element in question is an array or whether it's not an array. Now, how do we check to see if the element is an array? The way that we check is there is a built-in function in JavaScript, and it is capital array that is array. If we pass in any element inside of it, if the element in question is an array, this will become true, otherwise it will become false. And so we want to do, if this element is an array, we want to do something. Else, we want to do something if it's not an array. What do we want to do if it's not an array? We want to just result.push the element because we don't want to do anything with it. However, if it is an array, we want to strip out the array and put only the contents of it into our result. So how do we do that? There is a couple of ways to do this. But the way that I'm going to do it is this. I'm going to make another for loop here. And I'm going to loop through our element. I know that our element is an array because this happened to be true. So let's loop through all of this content of that array. So we'll do const, um, hmm. oh, what should we call it? Const L um, inner elements of L. And for each inner element, uh, we're just going to push it to our result. Result.push inner L. So we are looping through every single content of the elements, or uh, array elements, and we're just pushing it in. Now you might be wondering, what if the inner element was also an array? Uh, we don't care about that, however, for this function, because we're only flattening it into one level. So even if it's array, too bad, we're just going to push it in. All right, so hopefully we have built up our example. Now let's return the result. That's the array that we have built up. Let's see if we did it properly. Let me erase this com uh, comment here again. And let's just return calling our function. What did we call it? Flatten of the array. Let's see what we get for this example here. Remember, we're only flattening it into one depth. So this problem is not done. I just want to see if it flattens it one depth properly. We run the code. And so it appears it to work. This array with the two, its shell went away. So that's good. And this array, it's kind of hard to see, but let me just put a space there. This array, notice these green brackets, follow my colors. These green brackets is one depth. We want to strip those green brackets and that's what it appears that it did here. So our function works properly. Now we want to do somehow make it so that we flatten it all the way. All right, so fl to flatten this all the way, I'm going to use a while loop. And we don't know the end condition of when it's all, when it's flat, like how many times we have to iterate over it until it gets fully flat because it could be like nested a hundred times. So we are just going to do what seemingly may look like an infinite loop while true. So normally a while 
where the condition is true loop will never end until we explicitly tell it to end. And that's what we're going to do. There's two ways to end the while loop. One, you just call break on it. Or two, you just return. Uh, when you return from a while loop or any loop, uh, the function is done. The, what, the loop, the iteration is done, the loops are done, and the function is, call is done. So that's what we're going to do here. Let's do this. We are going to say const result. And this is what we're going to ultimately end up uh, returning at the end. So here, uh, maybe we don't need this. Maybe I'll, that in, uh, I'll add that in later, maybe not. But let's go work inside our while loop. And we are going to, first, I'm going to say const or I'm going to have a Boolean to see whether it is flat or not. Uh, let's say let is flat. And I'm not entirely sure whether to make it true or false. I will say that it is false or rather it is true. And we are going to loop through our, our array. And I made a mistake here. I actually want to set the result of our array as array. So we're going to assume that uh, the parameter that we're given is flat. And we're going to loop through here. If it's not flat, we're going to flat. We're going to call our flat function. So let's do that here. We will do another a loop inside the while loop, a for loop, const element of result. And we're going to loop through our result, which initially is the same thing as a parameter. And we want to check to see, make sure if any of the elements is an array. How do we check to see if an element is an array? We use the above array that is array function. Let's do that here. If capital array that is array L is true. If element is an array, then we are not flat. So we want to do this. Let's uh let's see. Is flat is uh false because it's not false because we have an array inside and we want to update our result array to a one more level flat version so the way that we do that is we use our flatten function and put the result in there and i'm getting an error here because i use const here const means we can't redeclare it so let's use let instead and after we flatten it there's no point in really going through the loop again. Uh, so let's just break out of this for loop here. We're not breaking out of the while loop, we're breaking out of the for loop. Uh, and at the end of this, uh, so there's two ways to come to the end of this for loop. Either we broke out of it because we found an array inside or none of them was an array. So in that case, this is flat would be true. Otherwise it's flat, uh, it's false. So we will say if, outside of our for loop is flat, then we know we're done. So we could just return our result array. Remember, uh, we have a while loop here. We could, just, uh, we could just come out of it by just returning. Once we hit this return, then this while loop stops, this function stops, and we just return the result. Uh, however, if it is not flat, we continue we say that is flat is true, and then we loop through our new result array again, that well, which was flattened one level. So we continue to flatten it, flatten it, flatten it all the way until every single element is not an array. Let's see if this works. Run it, and it appears that it does. Let's see if free code camp likes the solution. Let's make sure we copy both functions. Come to free code camp, paste this in, run the test, and it passes. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys a couple ways we could refactor this code. Uh, there's not much to be honest. However, one thing I'm thinking about is this part inside our flatten function. Notice what we're doing here. We're looping through each array and we're saying if the element that we're looping through in question, the element is an array, we're looping through all of its inner contents and pushing that to our result. Well, there's a shorter way to do this. All we got to do is this. We are going to result.push. Uh, by the way, one thing about this push method, you could push one element like here, 
or you could push multiple stuff like that. Then it will just push it, make it bigger in those sequence. So that is completely valid in JavaScript. And we're going to do something similar. Uh, what we're going to do is destructure, uh, destructure the contents of our element, which happens to be an array, because this happened to be true. So this is called the spread operator. And what this does is, let me show you guys, it pretty much does the same thing that we had before. Let me show you guys what this does. Let's say our element was two. Then um, dot, dot, dot element, the destructuring of the array two would just become two. If our element was this part right here, an array that has multiple arrays inside, then the structuring, the element is just, it gets rid of the outer shell and just gives the insides like so. So uh, spreading the element does exactly the same as looping through all the contents of this array and pushing that individually. So this tidies our code somewhat. I'm just gonna make that a little smaller. And let's bring this solution now over to free code camp, paste that in, run the test, and we pass. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me again today. Uh, we did Steamroller today. And to be honest, this was my second time recording this video. I actually finished recording everything and finished editing everything. And then for some reason, I erased it. So I was really mad, but whatever, I finished it again. Uh, hopefully it came out as good as the first one. Uh, if you like my content, please click like and subscribe below. And I release these videos every weekdays, these uh, algorithm videos every weekdays. So please stay tuned. Next time we meet, we will be doing binary agents. And to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of this one because it deals with binary numbers. And at least from my real life experience as a front end slash full stack developer, I don't have much uh, I don't have much time when I deal actually with binary numbers. However, they asked us to do it, so we'll solve it. Uh, try to solve it on your own and come join me tomorrow and have a great day.